Canadians are worried they can't afford the groceries they need to feed their families. Meanwhile, senators have been worried about catching a tan over the summer and are holding up a bill that would provide you with real relief. Now, I'll break all of that down, but first, let's take a real quick step back. Does it feel like you're paying for two bags of groceries, but only bringing home one? Well, when the government increases costs for farmers, the government is making your groceries more expensive. When the government increases costs for truckers, it means you pay more at the store. And the federal government is making your trip to the grocery store more expensive with its carbon taxes. Here's how. The carbon tax makes the natural gas and propane used by farmers more expensive. The carbon tax also makes the diesel that truckers need to deliver your food to the store more expensive. Here's Jeff Barlow. He's an Ontario corn, wheat, and soybean farmer explaining how the carbon tax impacts him. The carbon tax, in my opinion, is not going to create the solution to, to an alternative to propane and natural gas for grain dry. My competitors to the south of me in the United States do not pay that tax. So now my cost goes up and I have no alternative. By penalizing me, there's nothing else that I can do but just be penalized. I can't, I can't do anything about it but just be penalized. Farmers say that the carbon tax cost them about $14,000 on average in 2019. But that was only the first year of Trudeau's carbon tax and he has increased it every year since. A higher carbon tax means that natural gas and propane used by farmers is more expensive. It also means you pay higher prices at the store. The carbon tax on natural gas and propane costs Canadian farmers about a billion dollars through 2030. That's according to the parliamentary budget officer. But there is some good news. Parliament passed a bill in March 2023 to take the carbon tax off those farm fuels. The bad news? The bill hasn't become law yet it's being held up in the Senate. So get this, Canadians, maybe you, are worried about the price of hamburger meat and the price of a jug of milk, all while our unelected senators are kicking their tires. I guess they're just not worried or are feeling the pain of higher grocery prices. After all, their salary is $170,000 a year. So they're not feeling the pain, but many Canadians are. Our elected representatives, they passed a bill to remove the carbon tax from the natural gas and propane used on farms. So it's time for our unelected senators to rise from their slumber and pass this bill so it becomes law and life in Canada is a little bit more affordable. Now, removing the carbon tax from these farm fuels would be a big victory and would go a long way to providing you with real relief. But it's only the first step because we need to completely scrap Trudeau's carbon taxes. Carbon taxes make everything that's delivered by truck more expensive, including your politician's favorite kale salad. Federal taxes alone add about 29 cents per liter to the price of diesel. That means the big rig truck driver that's fueling up pays about 260 bucks in federal taxes alone each and every single fuel up. Now, contrary to popular belief in Ottawa, Truckers and farmers aren't bottomless piggy banks that politicians can use as their personal ATM. They can't just eat the costs forever. And that's why you end up seeing higher prices when they raise taxes. Talk is cheap, especially in Ottawa. Don't believe any politician who says they want to make your life more affordable unless they're willing to do one simple thing. Scrap their carbon taxes.